This is no ordinary sport. Welcome to HMB Fighting. Ever heard of LARPing, or live action role playing, where people get dressed up in different costumes, run around a forest and pretend to kill each other? Well, consider this to be the jacked up, not safe for children version. HMB, or Historical Medieval Battling, is a modern full contact fighting sport where men and women dressed in full body armour launch at each other with blunt steel weapons characterised from the Middle Ages. Teams across the world honour the ancient medieval battles by gathering at large scale tournaments where countries fight for the crown. After hearing about this sport, I decided to reach out to a group based in my city who has represented Australia in multiple battles to see if I could learn this unique sport. And it was more intense than I ever expected. G'day. Hi. G'day. Hi. Oh, I'm, the I am the YouTuber man. Hello. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, Thank yeah. you for inviting me. This no, looks sick. No problem. Uh, so this is our gym. Okay. Uh, we do these once every month. Training days in armour on Saturdays. Okay. Yeah, so this stuff is like looks super heavy. Oh, within reason. Wow, that is some. Oh my god, that's for your head. Yeah, it sits on your shoulders. How much would it weigh, do you reckon? Total suit, maybe what, twenty-five with oh, helmet. I'm betting thirty-five. So how did you um find uh, out about it? I come from Albury Wodonga. There was a LARP group up there. You know the foam weapons. I'm moving to Melbourne for uni, I was like, kind of want to do something a bit more. As I met Jake at a random convention. Yep. And I rocked up to training, and one and a half years later. I got my own suit. I, um, is it, I'm assuming it's quite expensive. So, so 500 euro. Right, okay. Section. <laughs> yeah, these guys were serious. But let me tell you how it works. This sport has multiple tournaments, fights and categories. The tournaments involve different selections of weapons, such as a shield and a sword, a sword and a sword, and a sword and a buckler. Or literally any combination of these deadly looking weapons. Then you have professional fights, which is like MMA, where you can kick and punch. However... Rule number one. No touching of the hair or face. Well, sort of. You definitely can't target the neck, back of the knee, groin, eyes, or back of the head. Other than that, you can basically beat the living shit out of each other. And the fights go from one on one all the way to 150 on 150. Absolute anarchy, if you ask me. But after a few friendly slaps and a short briefing where they would do a one on one duel, a one on one pro fight, and a three on three group fight, it was time for the action and the battle to begin. Oh yeah, that's hard work. That was crazy. <laughs> Got absolutely smashed up just then. Yeah. Well, that was absolutely no joke. And I am seriously impressed by these guys. I'm gonna be back on Thursday to do the training. I'm pumped. I'll see you then. So as the clock struck 4 p.m. that Thursday, I journeyed via trusty steed back to the ground in which I would prepare for my own battle. <coughs> <laughs> oh god, that hurts my voice. Alright, I've just got to the gym. We are going to put on all the armor on and I'm gonna show you it right now. Hang on. 
After all of that, I'm not actually allowed to fight in this because you need months and months of training. It's actually super dangerous to fight in this with no experience. So what I'm gonna be doing instead is I'm gonna be using soft armor and going into battle with that instead. But first, I gotta know what it feels like to be hit by this. All right, Marcus here is gonna hit me. So we're gonna start a little to the shoulder. Yep. <laughs> yes. Is that a little? <laughs> Feels Feels fantastic. Little. Yeah, little yeah. to the head. <laughs> okay. Woo! To the leg. Mm -hmm. And stand up straight. Yeah. Chest out. You can't hit me back. No, I can't. <laughs> so that took such a long time to put the armor on. So we're gonna take it off the easy way. Now, using a variety of weapons, it was time for me to learn some basic fighting techniques. And after a bit of a warm-up and some practice, I was ready to jump into the armor. Ready to get my lips? Yes. <laughs> you know what's embarrassing? It doesn't fit over my nose. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And after a short briefing informing me what I can and can't do, the first duel began. So it was safe to say that this was harder than I expected, but I was ready for round two, which would be a pro fight, which allowed kicks and punches, and the goal was to get the other person on the ground. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's see all of that right now. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> and now it was time to fight. And he did not go easy on me. Oh my god, I'm so gaff right now. Gonna be breathing my nose as well. That was so much more tiring than I thought it would be. For like such a short period of time. I cannot imagine doing this in like full body armor, 35 kilos on, you guys going up against me. Well, thank you so much for letting me have a crack at this. This is such a unique experience. Thank you so much, yeah. No problem, man. Now, despite not being able to fight in the full armor, this experience truly opened my eyes to the unique activities there are to do out there. And whilst this might not be for you, if you've got your eyes on something else but are feeling hesitant to try, you should stop waiting and just go give it a go because you'll never know the amazing people you'll meet or the incredible experience you'll have if you don't. <laughs> Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna go to battle it today. <laughs>